Welcome back, everybody. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm here, uh, but I forgot to do an intro for today's video because we were kind of getting a late start and we wanted to get out there real quick. I can tell you this, I got more of these guys and uh, we actually kind of got into the mother load even though we got a big cold front. So I hope, uh, obviously you are seeing this because I got some fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's get started. That makes me think I should be jigging with my other jig. <laughs> come on, come up here. What is that? I don't know, you got more over by you too. You got some big ones over by you. Oh, one just showed up out of the background for me. It's coming, it's coming. Bluegills? Crappie, probably. Yep. Jesus. <laughs> Put on the afterburners right there. If you're not going to eat those, I'll eat some of those. <laughs> yeah. Fighting for ourselves here. Somebody's got something. Oh, I completely forgot what that noise meant. Ugh. There's the first 12 of the day. That's what I need. And this guy performed flawlessly with the new Okuma. So that's a pretty big perch. Uh, now I just need about a dozen more of those and I'll be doing good. Alright, so I wanted to just kind of point this out because I showed <laughs> what happened before but I didn't have my uh my GoPro on it was stupid like I I completely forgot about it I I think I had a dead battery or something like that um or it was like right after we were talking about stuff and it died or something I can't remember exactly what happened but that big perch you guys just seen was the one of the biggest ones so I had two real big ones I actually think I let go one and then I caught two that I kept. Uh, one was like an 11 and a half, the other was like a 12. Um, but regardless, I hope you guys get the point that I'm trying to get across with this. It's like everything cut out and I could only show you guys the after <laughs> aftermath. The iFish Pro put them topside and I got a couple of them on the iFish Pro. So let's get back to it. God, all the big ones just went away. Oh, no, there's a couple. He was shooting in. He was going for it when it was falling. What is it? Oh, he's, he turned from mine to go to yours. You suck. Those gotta be perch. He's on you. What is it? Is it big? What the fuck is this? I don't know. It's big. Giant bluegill? Is that big bluegill? Oh my god. It's pulling drag? What is that? That's crappy. <laughs> there you go. Scoop. Just sloop. Scoop and slide. <laughs> That's why they ran away from mine. <laughs> but normally I can catch those on a... This crappy jig did work. He likes it. <laughs> oh, that's the, okay. And now I have little ones. 
That was a whole school of crappy then. <laughs> oh, what the? Where did they come from? They weren't there a second ago. Look at that giant one right below the ice. What the fuck is that? I don't know. He, I just spooked him. spooked him, yeah. That was huge. What's that? I mean, that might have been a giant crocodile too. That was like a pike or a musky or a sturgeon or something. It was right here. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I set the hook and he was even pulling. I, saw, I, I watched you bounce him. His head went like this down there. You were jigging the fish, like the actual fish itself. Uh-oh. Yeah, these guys are getting bigger as they're coming over to my bait. Oh, there he comes. The racing competition. It's like a big perch. Could be. A better perch. I was just staring at it. That was my bait. I gotta stop looking at your side. You got them all over you, fighting for it. Oh, here comes one. Crappy. Yep. Double. <laughs> Yours is bigger. <laughs> I better throw mine back. <laughs> just let him, <laughs> just let him, just let him go, Frito. <laughs> Wasn't like a thirteen or fourteen incher. Ten. Yeah, easy. It's already better than it was yesterday. Look, I have a minnow head on. Yeah. Are you still using a ripping wrap or what? Well, this is that tungsten. I just put the minnow oh, head the on. Oh, micro. Yep. Alright, well, I actually hooked one. There's that thing. Yeah, they're a lot smaller. You got me in reeling anything in the videos? Huh? Yeah. yeah you got me in the video? I've seen a bunch of videos. <laughs> it's not my pan optics. <laughs> yep, see? Oh, that feels good. What are you? <laughs> it's all wrapped up. That's a build. Oh no! What are you doing, Frito? There, that stupid hook is. Go slow. Do you see me lifting? Like all I do is lift my rod and start reeling it in. And look where they're hooked. Look at the head on that thing. I'd bounce it once. Oh, shooting in. Look at them all come in. <laughs> what the? What is going on? Apparently the cold fronts don't affect the fish over here, huh? God, there's so many fish. Yeah, you got a smaller bait. Oh, Frida, you can't lean over the hole. You just scared half the fish that were under your hole away. What do you have on there? That one, the bait that the guy gave me. Oh, right. I thought that's what you had before. Oh, you had the jigging wrap on? Yeah, that's... He's coming. Go up. You got two coming up to you. I'd raise it a little bit. Oh, I got one coming in from the back again there. There he comes. Oh, that might be a big crappie. Yeah. I wonder what spooked him. Oh, Jesus, I got more down there. 
Where'd you get that out? My tungsten. I got that guy to turn around. Go away, little dude. Oh, you got one on your right, too. Oh, jeez, I just had one come in and hit it. Dang it. I was not ready for that. Oh, that's a big fish. Yep. That's a big one. All over yours. Did he not just hit it? I feel it. it. Dude, it looked like he swung and hit it. You're on it. He's on it. Get ready. Get him? What is that? Another Oh, that's another big crappie. Sit down, sit down. I got I got one on me. Get down. He's shooting over towards you. Oh, I had him. Dang it. He just turned to look at mine again. He's up underneath it. Don't move too much. Oh, how did I miss him? He had that whole thing. Dude, these are active fish, man. <laughs> I've had three hits now. And I have no bait on here. I'm gonna oh, try look at him streaking. Look at him streak. Yep. That's a nice one. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah it is. Dude. Look, it's not even hooked. It's just wedged in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a fish rattle. <laughs> Look, Frida, watch. It's just sitting in here. Hold on, look at this. Oh, there's more. So if I get them to chase upwards, they'll they'll actually just come up and hit it, right? Ooh. Yeah, he came right up to it. I don't know. Kind of looks like one. Oh, that's, that's a keeper. <laughs> Right off the bottom. God, those little flared lips. See, when they have backs like that, then they're... That's worth cleaning. Fish, fish. Oh, you got one on you. Big. Moving slow. What is it? What is it? Big crappie? Yeah. Is that a gill? That's a giant gill. Dang it, Frito. Turn my GoPro off. <laughs> well, mine is. That's like an eight and a half, actually. His eyes fucked. What? Oh, Jesus. What? <laughs> That's like mutated. You can eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one like that. It doesn't look like I got poked out or anything. Now he's going after you. Raise it up. Too fast. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't realize I had that much line. Oh come on! What? Why? Why? Why are you just sitting underneath it? Don't do that. There you go. Come up. Don't miss him. It's really like a fourteen-inch crap. You're right. It's big, <laughs> and I have a tiny little hook. This is not good. <laughs> yep. Oh, 
of 13 inches. Look at the head on that thing. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh, this guy's coming back. Look where I caught that thing. <laughs> See right on it? Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't rip it or anything like that. Maybe just raise it slow. Like jiggle and raise. See if you... Oh, you got him. Is that another crappie? Yeah, it feels like this one. Oh, it's a big gill. What'd you get that on? That tungsten? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little sneaky. <laughs> Are you... Oh, what's that? I got fish down there. I come from <laughs> oh he had it he hit it again that time what is that oh it's a big go <laughs> there you go <laughs> it's the first one I caught all day I think you want that one okay well that's a cleaner I mean that's seven and a half inches that's a normal go Oh, and there's one over here too. All right, guys. So hopefully today's video was good enough for you guys. Um, I did mess up a few different things. Um, one, my big perch. I actually had the alarm go off um, on my buddy's pager system thing um, while we were in the tent, and that's why I did the little cutaway for that was because we were literally talking about it and then suddenly it went off. Um, what happened was, so we were using the panoptics in the shack so we could share uh, the one sonar with two different holes. It was really cool. Um, he's a buddy of mine that's got that and they're really nice. I mean, if I could afford one or if, I mean, Garmin wants to give me one. <laughs> the fact is, is it's it's one of those things, it kind of makes you e-mobile, but if you can't move around, um, I would actually say it's a very nice unit for that specific purpose, but it's very expensive. So I don't see myself having one anytime soon, but I digress. What I was trying to say is like, that's why I did the little cutaway before, and I was telling you guys how that happened, but... I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was fun. We got a bunch of fish. Uh, I actually just got done eating some of that fish because that's what we were doing. It was uh, the second day we were out there. I wanted to keep some fish. I, I don't normally keep panfish. You guys know that. I don't keep big bluegills normally, and I don't keep big perch normally. Um, but where we were at on the Mississippi, uh, I can keep those guys there because there's huge limits. And it's just... If I wouldn't have seen how many fish I seen on that panoptics because you don't miss a thing with those... Um, I probably wouldn't have kept those, but there was a ton of fish swimming around in that body of water. So it was really fun. I hope I can get out there again this year. Um, one thing because of that, I wanted to mention DWS Outdoors merch. Um, I've mentioned this a bunch of times, but this is just for anybody who misses it. Um, or it might be new here. Thank you. If you are new, thank you. Um, but if you guys want to pick some stuff up, I have stickers, I have all that stuff. It's all down in the description. So if you follow the link for DWS Outdoors merch, uh, link is in the description. That will help me get out filming more. Um, the only reason I was actually able to get out on that trip was because of John, my friend that was out there. Uh, he hooked me up with a hotel room for the night and that was basically the deciding factor of like, okay, if he's going to get the hotel room, I'll go, you know, I'll spend the money on the gas to get out there, which it's actually a very far drive for me. And it was, uh, not cheap. Just gas in my truck alone was a lot of money. So basically kind of broke at the moment waiting for more money to come in here. Um, I don't make a lot of money from this. You guys, you got to understand I, it's once I'm at like a hundred thousand plus subs, maybe I can say that I'm doing okay. But until that point, let's take it step by step. Um, Otherwise, obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, 
would you please just remember to?